I'm Fionn and I really love investigating how the world around me works and how we can improve it. I found it really difficult to find tools and methods uh, to perform accurate and reliable tests on a way that can be reproducible by other scientists and that produce results that are believable and truly exciting to make a groundbreaking research. The tool I'm going to share with you today is one which I've used to count large numbers of items from digital photographs. The tool I use for this is Adobe Photoshop. You might often be faced with a picture like this one. This is in fact algal cells in water. The common thing to do would be to count all these different cells. And you can see that's a laborious process. And particularly if like me, you would have several thousand images like this to do it on and you'd be prone to human error. This is where Adobe Photoshop comes in. You can use the Select Color Range tool to select a specific color range. Like that, it will always select any pixel in this color, or within this range at least, and it'll give you a numerical output of the number of pixels covered by this color and the total number of pixels. Like that, you can get percentage cover, um, or you could get other data from different statistical analysis, and you can export that number to things like Excel, where you can do more complicated math on it. Places where this is really applicable would be, for instance, in counting cells in water, counting anything suspended in water, like in my case, microplastics, or uh, looking at the amount of bacterial colonies on a Petri dish as well. What also makes this exciting is that it's quite fast, which means you can process a large number of images quickly, you can also use the same color range on multiple images and like that you get a continuity and a constant throughout your tests as well. I really hope that I inspire you to make some really exciting and new technologies and come up with some really exciting ideas using tools like this one. I will be posting more tools like this one in the future and a guide to how to use Adobe Photoshop to calculate the number of pixels covered by something or just to count anything in a digital photograph will be linked in the description.